Hello, Gamer Gnome is back, and in this video, we're going to help this noob with the love fruit become pro. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us improve our videos. Where the echoes slam, oh, there it is. Forward. That's your slam. That's the dump. Finally, guys, I know that you've been waiting for this video loop to pro rework using the love fruit and we are going to start by checking the skills so there you go guys first up is the mellowing heart don't worry we're going to unlock all the skills in this video but first let's start grinding first thing that i noticed the first skill mellowing heart is not a good skill for grinding why because of its knockback every time you hit your enemy you will need to lure again guys i really don't like those kind of skills for grinding but grinding is doable okay in addition to this update you can also get or grind hearts which you can use to exchange items in the valentine's npc in this c you can find the npc in the middle town there's a chance that you can get this coat or the shades or a legendary hockey actually that's not legendary <laughs> anyway that's good stats moving on we're gonna grind here until reach level 50 okay there you go Oh, let me show you the stats. Here it is. Nearly 15. Block fruits 29. Why? Nearly gamer nom. I'm gonna show you now. Head to the Fountain City. Our target here is the Galley Pirates. Guys, uh, one more thing about the love fruit. It has a charm effect. Check it out. Every time you hit him, there's a chance. There you go. 33% decrease in damage of NPC. We're gonna use M1 here and last hit with the charm. Guys, check it out. Wall strat. There you go. Again guys, did you notice how I used the Z skill? The impact will push the enemy away and you have more time to dodge his attacks, okay? After that, left clicks, Z skill, left clicks, Z skill until you defeat him. Guys, with just one mob, you will get hearts. Also, you will reach level 26. That's really fast, right? So keep on grinding here until you unlock your X skill and that skill is the Cupid Zone. This is my favorite skill for grinding with this fruit. Also, a new feature, it will appear in the screen if you unlock a new skill. Okay, so this is the Cupid Zone. There you go. Not bad. Shower your enemy with love. <laughs> We're gonna stay here until level 60. Next up is the Desert. First target, guys, is the Desert Bandits. There you go, guys. Combo here is X and Z skill. There you go. Just keep on spamming your skills until level 75. After that, guys, we are moving to the Desert Officers. Again, same strategy. X and Z skill, X and Z skill. Just be patient with the luring part. Okay, so we're gonna leave this area at level 90. Guys, again, level 90. Two more mobs, I guess. There you go. And we're off to the next island. Oh, by the way, the stats, I almost forgot. Melee and defense 35, block fruits 203. Next island is the Frozen Village. Guys, don't forget to visit the cave and buy everything the ability teacher sells. From the sky jump, 10,000 bellies, that's important. The aura, the hockey guys, armament 25k. And last but not the least, the flash step, the soul, okay? It costs 100,000. And after that, we're heading to the snow bandits. And with the same strategy, X and Z skill spam, we're gonna grind here. here we go. Okay, guys. So once you reach level 105, we are off to the Yeti. Guys, starting from here, everything will be fast because we're gonna start doing server hop. Guys, this is not how you should fight the Yeti. There you go. So every after skill, you need to create distance because this will happen to you. Anyway, staying here until level 130. Don't worry, I will show you the stats. There you go, melee 45 defense, 50 blocks for 295. On the next island, we will unlock our C and F skill. So guys, better watch out for that. Next island is the Marine Fortress. Yep guys, buy the Black Cape. It is located in this tower and it only costs 50,000 bellies. It will increase your damage, your health, and your energy. Okay, so we will be defeating the Vice Admiral Bald version here. I don't know why. <laughs> there you go. And finally guys, we will be unlocking our F skill here, the Flamingo Ride. Oops, lag suspense. 
guys no need to hold the F skill also you can use the skills while flying with the flamingo ride guys this one's really good air camp dudes out there shout out <laughs> also let's not forget the wall strat guys wall strat guys anyone my favorite strat here and let's not forget finally we're gonna unlock the irresistible attraction here it is there you go guys and we're gonna leave this area at level 220 next island is the prison for our first two bosses, the Warden, the Chief Warden guys, both of them do not have aerial or long range attacks. So, we're gonna bully them <laughs> by staying in the air. But if you're not using Love Fruit, you can still do Wall Strat. Not just that, the third boss here, the Swan, guys, you need to use Wall Strat here because he has long range attack. So here it is. There you go. As you can see, I got damage, but it's fine guys. You can tank the damage. So we're gonna live here at level 350 for the stats. Melee 175, Defense 185, Blackfoot 690. Next up, Magma Village. Target is the Magma Admiral. This boss has long range attacks, but it's very easy to dodge. Check it out. Especially when you're using the Flamingo Ride. There you go. Again, skill and fly around <laughs> to dodge his attacks. And that's it. Again, guys, reminder server hop until 425. Next area is the Whirlpool. And inside it is the underwater city. Target here is the Fishman Lord. We're gonna use Wall Strat. There is no way that this boss can damage you when you're here. And enough distance is created. There you go. Just a reminder guys, if ever you want to follow this strategy, the downside of this is slow mastery. So at 500, we're gonna leave this area. But last 11 masteries and we will be able to unlock the best of Rendo, my favorite skill for this fruit so off to the skylands we are going to defeat whisper in this area guys beware of his high damage cannon so make sure to move around check this damage out there you go see the hp anyway shout out to this buddha fruit user who helped me while grinding he saved my life <laughs> even though i was able to damage him there you go he didn't attack me so Shout out to you, bro. Faith in humanity restored. Guys, and with that, keep on grinding. And finally, we're gonna unlock the best of friendo V skill. There it is. Guys, it will summon one of your friends. Check it out, my main account. <laughs> because this account only has one friend, and that is my main account. There it is. We're not going to let my main account die. So we're gonna save it by riding the Flamingo Ride. Check that out, guys. Clutch. We saved our account, and once your V skill is in cooldown, you can use it again for max HP, guys. See that? <laughs> this skill is really good. There you go. So, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. guys! <laughs> I let my main account die. <laughs> that cannon really has high damage, but guys, there you go. We're gonna continue riding here until six two five. And after that, Fountain City. And we are back to where we started the Galley Pirates. Best of Friendo. Revenge mode. There you go. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Anyway, guys, you're just gonna use your Z, X, and C skill to burst Galley Pirates. Guys, that is enough. There you go. Z, X, and C skill. There is system attraction. Again, guys. The damage of these enemies are weaker with the charm effect. Okay, there you go. Resistible boom. Anyway, guys, you can grind here until 700 or start grinding with the cyber at 675. You can do server hop there. There it is. So, guys, to end this video, I will defeat the cyborg with all the skills unlocked. So, as you can see, half HP on my main account, my best of friend though, but now we're gonna help him. So guys, every time you attack him, right, there's a chance that he might get infected by the charm effect. I don't know if uh, it will also decrease the damage on your best of friend though. I'm not sure of that. Our best of friend though just died, but there you go. We were able to spawn him again. Oh, a different friend appeared. Wait, we have two friends now? Yeah, I think that's pass pass. Anyway, he died again, which means that uh, this boss is kind of strong for us. For our friend so we're gonna help him 
There you go, guys. This is almost done. And after this, we will reach level 700. So, guys, do you think is this account pro? If not, should we make a next video? Like part 2, reaching max level using the Love Fruit rework? Or should we make a Spider Fruit Noob to Pro? Okay? So, that's up to you. I will read the comments after this video. And that's it for this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom. Gamer Nom out.